Yeah, and thank you for inviting me again. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here for the second year running. Um, I had a great time last year, so hopefully uh, this one will be even better. Um, so I'll, yeah, just to briefly explain uh, my, a little bit about myself. Um, China Channel's my, my company. Uh, my name's Matthew Brennan. I'm based in China. Um, my company is in Shenzhen, which is next to Hong Kong. Uh, we're very close to the Tencent head office. Uh, I'm personally uh, known as a, uh, an, analy sorry, an analyst of uh, Chinese mobile internet, uh, in particular Tencent and WeChat, which is their flagship product. Uh, some of you might have it. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, but today we're, we're going to cover the strategies of not just Tencent, but also Alibaba, which are kind of the two giants in China. We'll go to it, uh, into it in a bit. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't look Chinese, obviously. Um, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not ethnically Chinese, um, but I lived in China for 15 years. I speak Chinese. My wife's Chinese. Uh, my, my daughter is Chinese, half Chinese. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pretty embedded into the, into the culture and society in mainland China. Um, I have a book coming out uh, quite soon, which is that one, which is about the history of WeChat, if you guys are interested in that. And also, if you're interested in technology in mainland China and what's going on, there is a lot going on, um, then you can check out the podcast that we do uh, together with TechNode, which is basically TechCrunch China. Uh, and also, I run the largest conference in China uh, for a digital marketing uh, within the Tencent ecosystem, in particular WeChat. Okay, we did that once. We actually did that like um, quite recently. So uh, it's always good fun. Um, but enough about me. Um, I'm going to start off uh, not talking about Southeast Asia, um, but actually talking about Korea. Uh, I'll give you an example here, Korea. So if, if you go to Korea, there's kind of a joke about Korea, right? That Korean people might say this is not the Republic of South Korea. Um, it's the Republic of Samsung, right? And uh, like they say that because actually in South Korea, you know, you can be born in a Samsung hospital, right? Um, of course, you're going to have a Samsung phone. Uh, you might live in a Samsung apartment. Um, you might have a Samsung fridge and all different kinds of uh, electrical equipment in your house. Um, and, you, you know, you might pass away in a Samsung nursing home. It's, it's almost like this is the company that you cannot avoid in your life in, in South Korea. And uh, people are starting to say the same thing about China, right? That in China, these are the two companies that you can't get away from. Uh, Tencent and Alibaba, they touch everybody's lives. Yeah. Um, and they're fierce rivals, right? They don't like each other at all. Um, they're mortal enemies. Um, both of them are run by people with the surname Ma but they're unrelated. Uh, but Pony Ma and Jack Ma are two of the richest men in China, uh, two of the most successful internet entrepreneurs in the world. And if you want to think about these companies on a very, very simple level, this is the easiest way to think about them, okay? Alibaba makes their money from women, right? Because they're an e-commerce company. So um, all of their billions are based around Chinese women buying too many things that they don't need. And, um, for, for Tencent, you know, they make their money from kids because they're the world's largest gaming company, right? So um, all of that revenue is coming in usually from, from young people. Um, but they're, they're actually very complex companies, right? And they compete across all different kinds of verticals. Um, if you can see down here, I've listed some of them. These are just some of the, some of the areas they compete in, right? Um, whether it, it, within mainland China. Um, with, you know, you can see here uh, payments, e-commerce, social, browsers, video, retail, cloud. It just goes on and on. This could be three times longer. Um, pretty much any category you can think of, they've got a player in there, in usually in one or in the leading that market or, or second place. Um, and this year, we've seen a lot of investment and interest in retail. Actually, this is one of the key areas that these guys, key battlegrounds that Tencent and Alibaba are, are, um, are moving into. So definitely, Alibaba has been leading this so far. You know, these are the, some of the investments that they've made um, in what they call new retail. Um, but we've also seen Tencent, um, in the first half of this year, make a lot of movements and big investments um, in, into uh, online, offline retail. Um, and it's a really, really huge trend um, in mainland China that we, we haven't seen come down to Southeast Asia yet. 